stunts are performed by professionals. Do not attempt at home. There's nothing like the rush of wind in your hair, but how much could you actually take before you're blown off your feet? I've come to Lake Las Vegas to find out. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> oh my god. That's the awesome. name's Bond. <laughs> How you doing? What is this thing? That is a hovercraft. Today, wow. we're going to try and blow you over with that. <laughs> okay. Right, let me introduce you to the team first. This is Gary, our pilot. Gary is the man who owns this hovercraft. Gary, what does this cost? About $25,000. Nice. $25,000, okay. right. Now, normally, a hovercraft obviously moves forward. But if you stop it from moving forward, and we have done with this rig under here, it means the wind blows out of the back. So it's the same as you guys being in a hurricane, a small, focused hurricane, OK? We've got Chris here, who's in charge of the anemometer. Uh, Chris will be basically measuring the wind speed. <laughs> My breath is... 50 miles per hour, then. So the question is, at what speed do you guys think you will be blown off your feet? I'm going to start with you. I'm going to say 85. 80, straight in at 85, 85. miles an hour. Straight in at 85. And why is that? <laughs> with some of those winds, when they gust at 60, you know, I can keep my balance, so I'm thinking 85. OK, right, dude, what do you reckon? I read somewhere that a hurricane's about 75, and uh, I think 60 would take me out. Look at you nodding at yeah. Look, he's, <laughs> he's tiny, that guy. Look at him. <laughs> okay, 60, what are you saying? I'm saying 100. 100? Anyone any higher than 100? No, no, no. I think I'm going to do 70 miles per hour. Right, you guys ready to do this? Um, like, yeah. Right, okay, should we try it out? Yeah. Let's work our way up. So, starting with Dustin at 60 miles an hour. The rules are simple keep your feet firmly planted, your hands by your side, and try to resist. But be prepared to be blown away. Right, you ready to do this, Dustin? Ready. You sure? Yeah. Final Maybe words. Yeah, final words. I love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you've got the anemometer to measure the wind speed. So let me know as soon as we hit 60. Gary, let's hit 60 miles per hour. Here we go. Dustin easily withstands the 60 mile an hour blast. Time to take it up a notch. Right, so 60 not a problem. 70 miles an hour. Gillian, good luck. What are you thinking about? How are you feeling? Uh, I'm just waiting to fall in the water. Here we go. 70 miles an hour. With the wind speed at 70 miles an hour, Gillian stays firmly rooted. So I hate to say it, but you were wrong. I, I know I was. Right. <laughs> Step up, Jason. Jason, 85 mile an hour winds. Are you ready? I'm ready. Whatever Let's happens, happens. All right. All right. Let's find out. Let's spark it up, Gary. Here we go. 85 mile an hour winds. <laughs> There we are. 82 miles an hour is the speed that blew him off his feet. Straight in the drink. You all right, dude? What? <laughs> <laughs> what did that feel like? It felt pretty strong. Because that's the thing, you can't see wind. <laughs> Even though you can't see it, air is a mass of particles just like everything else. And the faster they move, well, the harder they hit. 
A strong breeze of around 20 miles an hour exerts a force of around one pound per square foot. But at 82 miles an hour, that force increases to around 16 pounds per square foot, which is enough to take out our Jason. So Jason's guess of 85 miles an hour was the nearest. Gary, what is the top speed of this? We think the winds can get to about 130. Okay. Here we go. 130 miles an hour. Let's give it a go. <laughs> no chance. 